She never lets me in, never lets me in. She won't tell anyone that she's dark. She won't tell anyone that she's sad. She's so afraid of me. I don't know why. I don't know why she doesn't want to be real. Who would be in love with a girl that was depressed? Who would be in love with a girl that was sad? I'm so afraid of her. I don't know if she knows it. I, I hope that people don't see that I am her. Pin, you betrayer! Stay entirely away from me! I know that you've committed adultery! How? With whom? I don't even know who to assume. You promised exclusive fidelity! To who? To me? To self? Were you or weren't you spread across a paper bed writing poems of longing to boys you knew would leave you? Tell the truth, you villain. You know the heat of a poetic bed. Oh, I see from where this vile news was spread. From fear, from fear. You must save yourself from imperfection and pernicious spot. But you do not realize that I have been faithful, more faithful than you. Yes, I open myself up to be emotionally consumed. But you are unfaithful and that you are a prude and to yourself. Make this confession to a peasant and you could speak it before a lord. Do you or don't you feel that you are unavailable? Do you, or don't you, sell pieces of yourself, poetically, comically, whatever manner it be, for unconditional company? Don't you bleed, and need, and feed, and grieve? Aren't you blood, flesh, excrement, and sweat? Or have you also been in a double bed by being self-covering lead? This is why I prefer lead to be scratched out and effaced when I so choose it. But you speak very decidedly for one, so tell me, what have you heard? What have you read? Only what you, dear mistress, have said. Close your writing book now and off to bed. Or will you stand by your vow and bow to vulnerability and acquiesce to the needs of the needy? Sable your eyes to a crescent less beady. Admit the times you swore you loved, for it was truth then. You had no power over the change of their reality. I am your darker self. Know me. Understand me. Love me. And when you do, write a self-led soliloquy. So retreated she, the she, that is I, and read pleasant Shakespeare in her comfort cave. But one day, said she, I'll write her a soliloquy. And as she said, be self-led.